Hi, I'm Frankie. Hi, I'm Millie, and we're at the announcement of the Rising Stars Festival at the Lyric Theatre. We've just heard from Nika Burns, and we're about to chat to all the exciting new producers who will be making their West End debuts. <laughs> um, so the show's called Western Musical Celebration. It will be happening from the 10th to the 13th at the Palace Theatre, just up the road. Um, and it's a celebration of musical theatre, so the joy of musicals, got some of the biggest um, stars in the West End, everyone from Ben Forster, Alice Fern, Leighton Williams, and of course Sinead Holmes who will be performing, Rachel John. Um, so yeah, an incredible cast and we're there to have the biggest musical theatre party you've ever seen in your life. Uh, the show is a verbatim musical about the internet. Um, it uses words that were written and spoken on the internet within the last 18 months and it's a sort of multi-sensory overload that hopefully feels like you're being pulled into the internet and all of the questions and interrogations therein. It's a Scott Allen song cycle and it um, charts the year in the life of six people and the highs and lows that they face and um, really examines how even the smallest decisions we make can make long-lasting changes in our lives um, that stick around forever. So we've uh, put together a really exciting uh, variety show with magic, illusion, um, comedy, um, basically everything that the family you know that can enjoy together. Show Must Go On Live is essentially a live representation of the brilliant campaign that these guys have set up um, in aid of the Fifth Support Fund, um, which is about the West End coming together to kind of celebrate the end of lockdown and the theatres reopening again. It stars now Latrice Royal and Will as the leads in what is a Dragon Christie murder mystery. I mean, it's, it's set on an island um, where the people go to this mysterious island and people start dying. Um, of course they do, <laughs> and you have to figure out who the murderer is, and it's just, it's such a great show, it's really camp, it's really fun. And it's a very physical, characterful show, because he obviously in multi-roles, many different roles, as he tells us the story of Michael, who's a character he finds out um, about by volunteering on an LGBT switchboard. Um, it's kind of like a piece of gig theatre. It's a show about her, her life, her rise to fame through Drag Race, through the pageants that she did, uh, the documentary series on Netflix, The Dancing Queen, and it's just about her rise to fame. And also everything that we know and love about Alyssa, from high kicks to tongue popping to lip syncing. It's huge and it's really exciting. It's going to be a, a night of music celebrating West End theatre stars with singing uh, the music of their choice, so from any genres, music they love, music, music that's personal to them. Uh, with a band and, uh, and lots of chats, so sort of Graham Norton, Jules Holland type feel to it. Yeah. It's really going to, I think the idea is to capture the difference between having something presented to someone and sort of connecting the performers and the audience together. And it's that sort of atmosphere in the West End that we want to yeah, reignite because ultimately, you know, it's about the people here on stage and in the theatres together. Yeah, we're excited to show the audience that, you know, beyond the curtain as we're taking backstage, we'll get some stories from our artists yeah. and really sort of celebrate everything that was great about our wonderful theatres. So. In the last five years, it's a musical. Um, it's a two-hander. It's a conceptual piece in that it's a romantic story telling the story of Kathy and Jamie. Um, the male story is told in order of their romantic relationship and the females is, goes backwards and they actually only meet in the middle at their wedding day. It's interesting that um, some of the hurdles, and I think that's part of what this festival is about, is that some of the hurdles that we would generally experience as new producers trying to get into the West End, some of those have been removed. Um, and COVID has obviously created its own challenges, but it's also created opportunities for young producers like ourselves and young black producers like ourselves to be able to do a show, actually get it into the West End and, and get that kind of um, stage for ourselves, which has been, been wonderful. Because the thing that's usually the biggest barrier to producing, especially new producers, is, is money. Mm. You know, it's something that takes so many years to build up the, mm. the black book of investors of what theatre producers have. And, and NIMAX have been so wonderful at kind of reducing those barriers in that sense. But I mean, the biggest barrier is just in terms of, of, of everything else that isn't in our control, you know, like government restrictions. And it's always a hurdle, but it's always exciting putting on a new musical because um, I think sometimes uh, audiences 
want to see things that they're familiar with, but I'm particularly interested in new experiences that speak to the contemporary moment and that are disruptive and fun and, and strange and new and innovative and the public domain is that. And what's always tricky is, in, as a producer is you're trying to make sure everyone's having a really good time and is enjoying their work, but it's hard because all the things you'd usually do, whether it's drinks after or just get togethers and all those little things around it we can't do. Um, so it's trying to be really creative and imaginative and not only keeping our spirits up, but also keeping everyone who's within our show's spirits up and obviously the audience when they get there and make sure we're all as safe as possible as we do that. One of the challenges was we wanted to do something with Scott Allen and with his work, but we, we kind of came to the song cycle with him and it was very much a new work. So I suppose one of the challenges was trying to find a find its its place, um, a way to, to make that music work and, and make sense as a storyline. The, the situation that we're in the pandemic, it has been a huge, um, difficult stumbling block for everyone around the entire world and from small theatres to West End theatres. But it's also an opportunity to change things and to look at things differently about how we collaborate, the people that we work with, how we put on theatre how we break out of uh, the traditional theatre that we've come to know and love, how can we change that? And But with everything, it's a hurdle. Like, we're bringing over someone from America during a pandemic. It'll be fine, but that's, that's a hurdle that we have to get through. And with the support of NIMAX, we're able to do that. The main thing right now is just bringing people over and having to deal with isolation and having to deal with all of this and, and making sure that you can get all your drag acts and, and they can get their makeup on and also get tested and all of these things. Um, so it's really just navigating what COVID means for theatre and what COVID means to make sure that we keep everyone safe as well. You know, this will be the fourth set of dates that we have that we have produced the show on. So, you know, originally it was supposed to be in November and then and, you know, we've, we've sort of, every lockdown has sort of got, essentially got in the way of, of the show going on, which is, you know, ironic because it's called The Show Must Go On. <laughs> uh, I think the biggest hurdle is with it being social distance, obviously you can't um, make as much money as you normally would. So this, this, it's kind of a tight turnaround. I think when we can open up fully um, and we can sell more seats, then producers will feel more confident in risking trying to stay on top of both how can I actively produce smaller work and make a business and actually support artists and what do I do about the larger scale stuff that is also ticking along and has to start and then thirdly the new shows I'm developing that hopefully are going to hit the stages in 2022 and 23 and staying on top of 10 different projects across different scales so we've been actually busier than ever Sometimes that, that time is, is short-lived, like you, you spend an hour having a conversation and the next week it's a completely different situation. I think I'm most looking forward to just the, the feeling of overwhelm of being in a theatre and of that sensory overload. What I'm most, most excited about is standing on a stage with a mic in my hand on the West End with the roar of a live audience and I feel like that magic is going to be just so incredible. I cannot wait for that moment. It's just, yeah, we've all been waiting for it for a long time and we're ready. <laughs> that moment when the lights go down yes. and you feel the energy of everyone there who's just been cooped up waiting for live entertainment, live safe entertainment, mm -hmm. that moment and you feel the electricity around the audience. Just being in a room with the audience again. Mm -hmm. Hearing the audience and um, hearing the reactions and just for performers as well, just to give them a place to get back on stage. It's, Everyone's been missing it, the audiences and the performance. Yeah. Seeing everybody, you know, the lives light up and whatnot. We've missed that. We've just missed the live experience. And the lights go down and you're all together as a community witnessing the same thing that you won't be able to see tomorrow because it'll be a little bit different. Yeah, but just to feel that buzz of an audience, just to feel that connection between artists and audience, I think for me yeah. is the most exciting. Well, it's like, you know, there's all of us here. Like, it's an indescribable feeling. You know, it's something that is is a kind of like an individual, incredibly personal experience, but something which is also about this collective atmosphere and a space. I mean, I always say it's not all about opening night, it's just about the process. Even now, it's it's the process. We're doing it, we're producing in the West End, we see the stuff on the front of the theatre, we get into rehearsals on Monday, we see the model box, we get the set in, we see opening night. I mean, it's it's all of those things. It's It's just relishing the opportunity just to have that family back together and to you know the show is amazing so to get that you know on the west end where these these Absolutely. actors deserve to be and the creatives deserve to have their work on the west end so i'm just really excited to give it another uh, a life really
I'm really looking forward to firstly producing the show <laughs> and being able to watch Alyssa Edwards every night with the, her dancers and just enjoy that um, and yeah have the excitement of uh, a Western debut how brilliant um, I'm really looking forward to seeing shows I've already bought tickets to quite a few things